Hey everyone, Catch em All Collectibles here. In today's video, I'm going to follow up on a series that started a little over three months ago. May 9th, I sent off 25 cards for the CGC PWCC partnership, where you send raw cards to PWCC, have them graded, and have them automatically sent to auction to be sold off through PWCC's weekly auctions. Not sponsored in any way. Probably will become apparent as I work my way through the video. Um, just a person sharing their experience with a service that is likely going to be a one and done scenario for me. Um, not too surprising. I, I went in intending this to be for science. I, I was going to potentially take the L so you don't have to. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll just share with you via the spreadsheet. And then I do have one. Uh, link to an ongoing auction three and a half months later that is still unsold and unpaid. So yeah, here's what we've got. Spreadsheet. Uh, as you see, column A, we've got the item titles going on there. We've got the bid amount the, and then the net amount. So the way PWCC works, they charge a 20% buyer's premium. And like for this item, for example, the net final bid was $86.00 the winner would have actually paid 1.2 times that amount. So they would have paid plus an additional 1720. So they would have paid something like 103. My net on that was actually 88. So you net more than the hammer price at certain price ranges. Worst case scenario though, on like cheaper items, $11 item, you net the full hammer price. You don't get any of that 20% buyer's premium. So effectively there's a 20% selling fee on items of that amount. Flashback for anyone who doesn't remember, um, who didn't watch the original video, this service, you send in the, the, the raw cards and you don't pay until the cards are sold, but you pay a $20 fee per card. That includes grading, that includes selling, aside from the selling fee that you still still pay. So Sending directly, you'd pay 15 without subgrades. This year, paying an extra $5 for PWCC to actually do the submitting and then getting those directly to auction. Not really worthwhile. You can see all the red highlighted cards. I actually didn't even achieve $20 in auction. And so those I would have been further ahead if I had just thrown them into the trash altogether um, or maybe sold them raw. There was no, no need to throw them in the trash. That was a little bit uh, dramatic, I guess, but... Uh, one of them was uh, uh, Ultra Modern Promo 8.5. I mean, that one I deserve to be punished. That one I deserve to lose $9 and, and getting rid of my card. The Nagaba Pikachu as well. I mean, an Ultra Modern Japanese promo getting a CGC 8.5. Probably would have gotten a, a PSA 10. But I'll, I'll cover multiple things throughout this. Uh, the mechanics of it, trying to just give you the objective uh time frames and, and things that i was hit with and the fee structure and all that which i've covered a little bit and then the other part will be my subjective opinion of why i won't be using this again and why it may or may not be right for you i guess the pros and the cons of it a little bit too but i sent some very questionable things in my send off video i i described the fact that some of these were very risky I thought I pre-graded them relatively well, but CGC is still a fairly hard grader, even though they may be grading softer. Uh, still hard to get that 10. You will see that I got a perfect 10 Nagaba Pikachu, along with my 8.5. Um, I think that was the only perfect 10 in the lot. And then some of the cards I expected lower grades. The the Grand Party was a damaged one. I, I knew that was going to have issues. The Entei Gold Star, I, I'm not too sure what was going on with that, but... For a near mint card to get 175 bucks seems fairly reasonable. But let me, be, before I go all over the place, let me address specifically the cards and the prices they achieved um, and why I don't use auctions typically. If you look at my eBay page, I have about a thousand buy now listings. I have not run an auction in about six months since I was doing the, the bi weekly auction blocks on, uh, on, my, on my YouTube channel. It, it just. Auctions, generally speaking, I, I buy through auctions and I sell through buy it nows. Auctions in general achieve lower prices than buy it nows. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a follow up video drilling more into that point. But it makes sense in, inherently. If if I'm looking to buy a CGC 10 Nagaba Pikachu 
why would I pay more than the lowest listed buy it now, right? Say the lowest listed buy it now is 100, which I do believe I've sold a couple for $100. And then this auction goes for $48. So PWCC has a much lower buyer pool, much lower visibility than eBay. For the past couple months, the duration of this experiment, I hardly have made any bids on PWCC. I don't think I've won a single item. I just don't look there that often. Um, but yeah, working our way through... CGC 8 Scream Psyduck, pretty reasonable, 80, 86 bucks. I think that's fair. The 9 got about 140 I was selling those in person at conventions for about 125 to 150 so that's in the vicinity. I probably could have gotten a little bit more than that on eBay. The 7s and the 8s, I don't know what's fair or not. I will say, though, my cost basis on all these Scream cards, I've mentioned it many times before, I was buying sets of three, EV Psyduck, Rowlet, for 20 bucks a piece. So I took an L in this video because I could have just sold them raw for, for more, or I could have graded them through CGC directly, paid less money to grade them, and then sold them as buy it nows on eBay, my own eBay page, and gotten more money. So I, I took an L in other ways. I didn't take as big a one as I could have. It, again, it was all for science. So the CGC 9 Rowlet, uh, that's lowest on eBay is probably 120 to 150 bucks. I could have sold that on eBay all day long for 100 bucks. Maybe it wouldn't have been a super quick mover, but I think I sell the PSA 9s around 100 to 150 as well. So very common trend you'll see, uh, just underperforming what I could have done selling them as buy it nows, which is no surprise. Again, there's a reason auctions, in, unless it's a unique item, a very scarce item, rare item that people are gonna be battling for, why are people gonna pay more than the, than the active buy it nows? If you get into the strong versus weak, maybe, but like CGC cards on PWCC, are just generally speaking not going to have an amazing time. Um, the red ones again, I, I should have just sold them raw. I have a bulk CGC buyer that, that's been buying my slabs for like thirteen bucks a piece. So if I had graded them directly, I could have just bulked them out. This one I probably couldn't have even sold on eBay for any more than eleven dollars um, as a buy it now. <clears throat> Some of these like Gold Star Ninjas, I think I sell them around twenty on eBay and CGC nine. I sell the nine point fives around thirty. So again, you're just seeing anywhere between 40 to 60% less through auction on PWCC than I could have gotten a buy it now on eBay. Um, these cards, they probably would have been 15 to $20 buy it now, so not a huge deal. The Bunny Man was really interesting. I did want to comment on that. It was a cracked out PSA 6. So had I auctioned the PSA 6 as it was, I probably would have gotten less. But if I auctioned or if I buy it, did a buy it now of this card on eBay as a CGC 9, I probably could have gotten double that. Maybe I'm off. I know sample cards have been having a rough go lately, uh, the MetaZoo sample cards, but I I'm glad it got the nine. I, I optimized this lab from a PSA six to a CGC nine because they are much less harsh on in uh, isolated, dense, little things like that. Um, but yeah, to get 260 bucks for that, I wish I could have bought that back uh, for that price. <laughs> um. The Magic Cast, really no data point to compare that to. That that's probably like a pop one. I, I'm probably the only one crazy enough to a graded one. Zero cost into that card. I, I don't even know what they go for raw, but 36 doesn't seem unreasonable there. These uh Bumblebee Pikachus, I sell the 9.5s for 30 to 35 on eBay. So to get 21 and 17, again, I'm just getting about half of what I could have gotten as a buy it now. That sells relatively quickly too. I mean a, a gem mint CGC 9.5. Um, Pikachu promo. That's a slab. Again, they, they printed millions of these. There's a ton out there in bricks, sealed, gem, minty still. But that's a card that will go 25 to 35 bucks all day long. Ancient Mew. I sell the nines for 50 bucks, 60 bucks on eBay. The uh, the 8.5 probably would have only been 35 to 40. So lower, but not as much lower. CGC 7.5 Grand Party. I have no idea what, what the baseline would be for that card. Same thing goes for the Ente. Those numbers don't seem unreasonable to me, but um, the CGC 9 EV for 100 bucks that's that feels relatively fair. The Snaf, Snaf Snorlax for 50 Again, it, it is what it is, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to use the service for multiple reasons. One being auctions are just not a big part of my business strategy. I, if you really need liquidity quickly, auctions are a good way to get about half of what you could otherwise in much less time. But to me, I've got a thousand listings on eBay. I've got a backlog of hundreds of cards here I need to list. 
money's flowing well enough as long as I don't overspend like crazy on an auction block or something. But generally speaking, keeping your liquidity up, not overspending on good items, waiting for those great ones to buy. You, you can generally avoid having to auction things to raise capital if you plan other things, plan your cash flow properly. So um, just to go back through, so May 9th, I made the video. And that was the same day I dropped the cards in the mail to PWCC. So on May 9th, I submitted 25 raw cards to PWCC. They stated preferential turnaround time. They stated about 10, cal 10 business days, so two calendar weeks to get the cards graded and turned around. So to be fair, it, it took one calendar month, but I, I shipped to them, say three days for transit to Oregon because I'm in New York. So three days there, it's almost half a week. Another three days to CGC, so you've already lost a week. Two weeks to grade, as they said, and then another week to get back and to get curated. So they probably hit right on schedule. One month, even though they say 10 business days, you really got to factor in shipping to PWCC, to grading, back to PWCC. One month is fair there. Um, I, I had estimated two months turnaround time to, to getting payment originally in my video. That was a bit optimistic, and, and I should have... I should have thought that through more. And so so one month they were on with, with what they've done there so far. The, the next part is where they kind of lost me a little bit. Three weeks to get some of these auction scheduled. So the first scheduled wave of auctions, three weeks later after they were curated ready in my vault. One thing you can do if you want to get them even quicker, you can do flash auctions. You can send them right to auction immediately. I could have had them on the block in like June 16th. But I just waited. I, I, let, I let the process run its course and I let it go the way that it would naturally go. Um, I mentioned passive selling in my last video. So I wanted it to be as passive as possible. There was a weird visual glitch that made it look as if late June they had auctioned but not gotten bids on them. And that seemed really strange. It wouldn't have been surprising if some of these cards hadn't gotten bids because some of them were pretty rough. But like if, if the grand party or the sample or these cards that went for over 100 bucks, had they got no bids at $10, that would have been pretty rough. There was just a weird visual glitch that maybe they fixed by now. But so the first batch of sales came through July 10th. The second batch of sales came through July 17th. And then my first payout on the July 10th auctions was on July 25th, a little over two weeks later. And on the second batch of auctions was on July, uh, August 2nd, two weeks, roughly two weeks after the, the second batch of sales. And that's what these, um, I, I'm kind of covering a little bit of them, but that's what these, um, the last two columns are. You've got the number of bids, you've got the, the date that they were sold, and then the date that I was paid out. And you can see here what I was actually paid out. So the first batch was 10 cards and it netted 562 to me. That's if you sum up column B. And as they paid the 562, they also subtracted the 280. So on those 10 cards, I actually netted 562 minus the 280. I netted 282. And on two weeks later, the um the 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 payout for the remaining 14 cards, and we'll get to the last card in a minute, but the remaining 14 cards to be paid, I knitted 1,014, and they subtracted off, maybe I just said that backwards, whatever the case may be, this was 10 cards here, so 10 cards was 1,014, 562 was 14 cards, and those were paid to me on the dates shown, um, so from the date that I shipped it, May 9th, to when my final payment was done, aside from the one straggler that we still have going, um, was just under three months. And to me, like at the end of the day, I don't do auctions, generally speaking. About a year ago, several months ago, not quite a year ago, I did a video kind of supporting two friends of mine, James, ZNG Emporium, Nick, Old School Pokemon. They both run auction consignment services that are on eBay. And my thought would be, you can't send them raw cards, you can't get the grading done, all included but my my advice to anyone not financial advice but my my business advice my selling advice if you're looking to sell cards um grade them yourself or grade them through a middleman if you grade it through a middleman it's going to take a lot longer than if you do it yourself but then the more of it you can do yourself the better if you don't have the time if you don't have the energy to do it i mean this service is here it exists you're just going to get 40 to 50 percent of what you could do if, if you do it yourself i think as buy it nows. 
but yeah, o overusing this service, I would um I would send to just James or Nick and have them auctioned on eBay. The amount of reach that you get on eBay, I, I believe these auctions would have achieved higher prices on eBay. It's harder to say. Auctions are just so variable. I've done a video before. Cards don't have a market price. They have a range. They have a window. Those windows are big. If a card goes for 100 it going for anywhere between 75 and 150 is not unheard of. And in a 2x between low to high, that's substantial. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's my experience. I will show... Let me see if I have anything else to say on this. Um, this card at the top. Terrible card to have sent. I was, I was shooting for a 10 and I got an 8.5. So that shows you what... what my abilities are to pre-grade, but it has two days and 50 minutes left as I'm recording this. I'm recording this on Friday. You'll see this on Monday. So maybe it will have been sacrificed to the zero bid, zero $10 bid uh, PWCC. If, if a card fails to achieve a $10 bid on PWCC, it gets retained by them. It doesn't go back up. The only reason this went back up, someone bid $11 and then they took two weeks to not pay. And then it went up again. And then I think it got not paid twice. But uh, yeah, here it is. No one should bid on this. It's a 50 cent card raw. Uh, it's an 8.5. Please don't bid on it. it. It's already done and over with. Please don't shill bid it so that it lives on. I, I just want this gone. I, I hope nobody bids on it. And I hope PWCC just takes it into the, the stockpile they have. I presume I'll still be charged $20. I, I absolutely should be. Uh, take that L on that. Get rid of my card and lose 20 bucks. But um. Uh, yeah, my overall strategy just does not really include auctions. I like the idea of the passive nature of this, where you just send cards out, they pay you back later. If you look really close, some of these cards, maybe. No, not really, though. <laughs> I'm trying to say maybe there's... Every card here should have either been sold raw, or they should have been graded myself and then sold by now. There was really no card here worth grading um the bunny man was a good play good optimization play going from a psa 6 to a cgc 9 but it was a very suboptimal play to auction it on uh pwcc because I, I definitely could have done better than that uh just selling it on ebay for sure um by now so yeah let me know in the comments below have you ever utilized the service cam if you're watching if you're still watching this late i i heard a little nice anecdote from cam i, I think i made out better than him because at the end of the day 25 cards, I got $1,096. I made, on average, 40 bucks a card. There were some good cards in here, though. I mean, not amazing ones. Good cards and low grades. But I, I think Cam sent a handful of cards, and he literally, the $20 fee, almost entirely consumed. Like, his net, after fees, after everything, was barely positive. He almost lost money all, overall. I at least got paid $1,000. Um, I... I got paid a thousand bucks for maybe fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars worth of cards. So not great, but not horrible. Um, not not as bad as it could have been. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Share your anecdotes in the in the uh, comments down below. Little sneak peek for people hanging out till the very very end. Uh, as I mentioned, James and Nick exist out there for auction consignments. Uh, Coming down the pipeline, I'm contemplating adding, and I'm currently running some test batches of Buy It Now consignments. If you'd have any interest in that, feel free to reach out to me, email, Instagram, Discord, wherever. Um, I have taken in some people's items. I, I am insured. Uh, it makes me a bit of a vault service almost. Funny when, when talking about a PWCC video. But yeah, I'm, I'm toying with the idea of doing buy it now consignments for people that are interested. There will be minimum dollar amounts. I I'm not going to take in cards like this Celebrations Pikachu 8.5. Uh, I need to I need to figure out the thresholds. I need to figure out the exact fees and where the breakpoints will be on lower percentages. But yeah, I uh, figured I'd throw that in at the end there. Let's keep this under 20 minutes. I, I see we just ticked over 19. With that, I think I covered everything. Uh, appreciate everyone watching. Affiliate link down below. Gotta love the spreadsheet videos. I feel like that's worth a like. If you've hung around this long, you've probably already hit it. Subscribe. Uh, affiliate link down below. And we've got... Uh, it will have happened by the time you see this. Uh, we usually do the last Sunday of the month, but we're doing the, the second to last Sunday of the month. We're doing... Um, 
August 21st, we're doing the Pokenomics Zoom call, the live Zoom call. So that will have happened. If you if you join, though, you can watch that and all the older ones. So yeah, with that, I will catch you all later.